Hello friends, welcome to MS Apti Webcast. Install and configure Windows Deployment Service on Windows Server 2016. Windows Deployment Service is a server technology from Microsoft for NetOffice based installation of Windows operating system. Windows Server Manager is the GUI way to install and configure the Windows Deployment Services role on a server, whether running standalone or uh, integrated with Active Directory. First of all, let's understand the requirements for successfully install and configure Windows Deployment Service. First, we require Active Directory to mean services. ADDS is only required if the server is integrated into an AD environment and is not a standalone server. WDS impose no minimum ADDS forest or domain functional levels. Second, we require DHCP. An active DHCP server on the network is required to support PXC boot. Third, we require DNS. A working and reachable DNS server is required regardless of whether the WDS server is integrated into AD or is a standalone server. Fourth, NTFS volume. The image store must reside on an NTFS formatted volume. And the fifth is credential. To install the WDS role, you must be a member of local administrator group on the server. So this is the, our domain controller and on domain controller, already I log in as a domain administrator. So we have a sufficient permission to install WDS on the server. We have successfully installed and configured Active Directory, DNS and DHCP on this server. But before installing WDS rule, let's verify that. I'm going to click on Tools and then I'm going to select Active Directory Users and Computers. Here you can see this is the our uh, domain name mylab.local and this is our domain controller name srt-dc01. Let's minimize it. Let's again click on Tools and select DNS. This is our DNS and here we can see we have a total uh, two for lookup zone and request lookup zone as well. Third, let's check for DHCP. Okay, under DHCP management console, let's expand IP version 4 and here you can see we have a one DHCP scope with full 192.168.49.11 to 192.168.49.99 and let's open file explorer here you can see we have a uh, one uh, ntfs formatted volume with space of 100 gb okay so all the requirements has been uh, completed successfully to successfully install and configure wds so now Let's uh, install WDS rule on this server. Let's click on manage. Select add rules and features. On before you begin screen, we have to just click on next version. I'm going to select the role base or feature base installation. Uh, this is your local server, name SRT from DC01. I'm going to select that server. Clicking on next. Now on uh, select server role, we have to select Windows deployment services. Let's select it. Let's click on add feature to add required feature. Let's click on next. Next again. Here you can read a brief over the information about WDS. And let's click on install to start the installation. After the installation is complete, you must configure Windows deployment services. So let's click on close to close this console and let's click on tools. Select Windows deployment services. Expand your servers and here we can see this is the other server name uh, srt-dc01.mylab.local. The yellow explanation mark is saying us that Windows deployment services is not configured on the server. To configure this service, you have to right click on it and you have to select configure server. Before you begin, ensure that the following requirements are met. We already checked this requirement, so we are ready to go. Let's click on next. Now I'm going to select integrated with active directory options and then I'm going to click on next button. 
Now here it is asking us to specify the remote installation folder location. We want to store on a D drive. So that's why I'm going to change the path D colon slash remote install. Let's click on next. On the proxy DHCP server page, review the information because our server is holding the role of DHCP server. So we have to select both options. Do not listen on DHCP on DHCP v6 ports and configure DHCP options for proxy DHCP. Let's click on next. On PXA server initial settings page, uh, select respond to all client computer known and unknown. In a production environment, you may choose not to respond to any computers until everything is configured. Let's click on next button. Okay, here we are receiving a message. The service did not respond to a start of control request in a timely fashion. Let's click on finish. And let's manually start the WDS service by right clicking on our server. Click on all task and select start. And here we go. We are receiving a message that the WDS service has been successfully started. Let's click on OK to close this dialog box. OK, now we need to add at least one boot image and one uh, install image so we can deploy a OS to our client computer. So already I uh, mounted the ISO image of Windows 10 to our this virtual machine. Let's check that. OK, this is the image. Right click on it and click on open. So let's minimize it and uh, let's add boot image to our WDS server by right clicking on boot images. Select add boot image. Uh, boot images are Windows P images that reside in the source folder on a Windows installation media. Uh, let's check that under sources. And here you can find boot.vim image. The boot.vim file includes both Windows P and the WDS client. Let's minimize it. Let's browse the location. Click on this PC. Double click on eDrive. Double click on sources folder and select boot image. Let's click on next. Now here I'm going to specify image name Microsoft Windows 10 Setup X64. Okay, let's click on next. Next again. Okay, our boot image is successfully added to our server. Let's uh, click on finish. And here we can see the Windows 10 boot image is there. Now we need to add an install image. Install images are the actual operating system images that are deployed to the client computer. You can use the default image in sources folder of the installation media or you can create a custom image by using a capture image or other tool. So let's add an install image. Uh, I'm going to select add uh, install image first. And here we are using a message that you have to create one image group. Let's specify name client OS. Click on next. Let's click on browser location and install.vim is there. Okay, let's click on next. And here, uh, this is the image Windows 10 Enterprise 2016 LTSB Evolution copy. Let's click on next. Next again. Okay, let's click on finish. Okay, let's uh, expand image name and here you can see we have our Windows 10 Enterprise Evolution install image. So after you have at least one boot and one install image on your server, you can start deploying client OS. So let's see how we can install Windows 10 using WDS. Let's come back to VirtualBox and uh, let's create new VM name Windows 10. Let's click on next. Next again, next again, next again. Let's specify the size, 320 GB hard disk. Okay, now I'm going to click on settings. First of all, I'm going to change your network adapter to internal only. And uh, I'm going to click on system, remove floppy, optical trial, select network. And that will be first and then hard disk. Okay, 
let's uh, start this windows 10 vm okay putting from pxc requesting ip address from uh, dhcp server press f12 and here we go here we can see uh, IP address is 192.168.49.101 that is the IP address of our WDS server. Now currently boot image is uh, downloading from our WDS server. Uh, here you are receiving a message that uh, Windows Deployment Services locally will be the English United States and keyboard or input method will be US English. Let's click on next. Now here we have to specify the credential add administrator at mylab.local and his password click on ok now here we have only one image and that is windows 10 enterprise 2016 lts evolution select it and then click on next now you have to specify the partitioning let's create one uh, partition click on apply Click on OK and click on Next. Okay, the installation process has been started and the installation process will take some time to install Windows 10. So this is the way how you can install and configure Windows Deployment Service on Windows Server 2016 and by using Windows Deployment Service you can deploy any Windows operating system. That concludes the video demonstration on how to install and configure Windows Deployment Service on Windows Server 2016. Thank you all for watching this video.